What is up, guys? Showing off the king here, back with another video. Man, I am so fucking done with Nintendo. You, you guys just don't understand. Jesus fucking Christ. So, Nintendo recently announced a new Pokemon game for the Nintendo Switch coming out in November. And everybody's losing their damn mind about it. I don't understand why. Yet again, Nintendo finds a way to give you some old shit and repurpose it as new and people lose their goddamn mind like it's the best thing since fucking sliced bread. Like, it, it's, it's so annoying. Like, there's so many Nintendo sheep out there that they just cannot see shovelware being tossed in their goddamn face and they just eat that shit up. Like, it's, it, they're just... It, 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 it pains me. So... Let's talk about it. Let's 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 talk about it. I can't I can't actually play the video for you because you know Nintendo they fucking suck, so they'll just basically copyright me for even just reviewing their footage. So I'm just gonna talk about it and show y'all what I'm looking at in the background. That's it. So this game is essentially Pokemon Go 2. That's essentially what it is. You know, they they're rehashing the Kanto region again. And they're rehashing the Kanto Pokemon again. And this is not a full-fledged uh, next-gen Pokemon game on Switch. Now, to be fair, uh, Nintendo did release a statement saying that there is going to be a next-gen Pokemon game coming out the uh, end of 2019. So that is one uh, shred of hope that we'll eventually get a, uh, a mainstream Pokemon game for the Switch. But this ain't it. Again, this is essentially just Pokemon Go 2. And the reason why I say that is is that it's it's next gen graphics, they, you know, but it's still the same Pokemon mechanics. Like, I don't see how much fun you can have playing an entire game with one Joy-Con. So, and that's all it requires. Like, you when you catch Pokemon, you got to use the uh the Joy-Con and it looks like there're going to still be some sort of similar battles going on like the old school, but not really. Like, don't let them fool you with these screenshots. Like, this is going to be a very simplistic, on-the-go type of mentality because there's two ways to look at this. Number one, they want Pokemon Go to be more successful. And because they created Pokemon Go to basically be a quick catch-all for people on their cell phones, and they saw how quickly the, the, uh, the potential for that game went down over the first year, Pokemon Go is like the biggest thing ever for like six months, not even six months, for like three months. Pokemon Go was the biggest thing ever. I played Pokemon Go like, like a madman. But then once you actually realize that the game mechanics itself was just bullshit, people got tired of it. Like there was nothing to really do but walk around, throw your, uh, flick the screen, and then that was pretty much it. And again, it got tiring after a while. The battles were garbage, the, the gyms were garbage, it didn't really make sense. So there's only a very small select group of people who actually still play Pokemon Go that used to play it before when it was first launched. Now, what Nintendo's doing is, is they're trying to capitalize on that remaining group of people that are currently using uh, Pokemon, playing Pokemon Go, and they're also trying to bring in the old people that used to play Pokemon Go and see if they'll buy a Switch. So again, if we're looking at it from a perspective of money making and marketing, it's a genius idea. I can't fault Nintendo for wanting to make money. And then they're even smart enough to bring on this damn Pokeball Tamagotchi bullshit so that they can they can make money on the side on that as well. Because what people don't realize is that Nintendo makes a lot of money off of their fucking shovelware. Like, think about it. Amiibos. Amiibos provide little uh, provided little to zero support in the actual games, but people bought Amiibos like they were going out of style. So Nintendo was making a shitload of money off of their accessories. That's where they make the bulk. They make a lot of money off of accessories. So Amiibos and uh, fucking extra Joy-Cons, extra docks, you know, just all that stuff that they sell on the side for an exorbitant amount of money is where they make a lot of the money. They're not even off of software. So what they're hoping is, is that everybody's going to buy a Nintendo Switch who plays Pokemon Go so they can just increase their numbers for their system, which is smart business-wise. 
And what they're also looking to do is see if people are going to buy those damn Pokeballs as well. And if I know Nintendo, when this shit launches, it's going to be a small supply of those Pokeballs to create fervor, to create people going crazy looking for it. But here's the other part where they screw their fans over yet again. People have been waiting for a next-gen Pokemon game for a while. They just, and this is not it. Like, I hope people can understand that don't buy this game thinking that it's going to be a full-fledged Pokemon game because it's not. And if it, even if it is, it's basically just going to be a Pokemon Go. They're going to add in a few little bits of flavor to it to help it uh, to help it sell to the masses. But this game is not for the hardcore Pokemon fans. It's not. So anybody like myself, again, I own every single major theme Pokemon mainline game. The only ones that I don't buy is if they rehash it, like uh, Pokemon uh, XYZ or whatever the hell they called the last one. Like, I already own the main Pokemon X game, and that was it. I'm not buying any second iteration. Like, every now and again, I like I said, I do own Emerald. I never bought Yellow, but I own every mainline Pokemon game. And the uh, only way, I and I said this before, the only way that I would ever buy a Switch is if there is another next-gen Pokemon game. And this is not it. So they're still not getting my money. But again, uh, at the end of the day, people are going to just decide to shit all over this. And I mean, it is what it is. Like, I'm not falling for Nintendo. I'm sick and tired of you guys bringing out old shit, calling it new, and then expecting people to just eat that shit up. But you know what? At the same time, I'm upset. But I can't be mad at Nintendo fully because we, as fans keep allowing them to do this shit and it's so frustrating like you guys have got to stop supporting nintendo when they do this shit like they as long as you keep shoveling that shit in your mouth whenever they bring out old shit and repurposing it and making it new they're gonna keep giving you old shit because they're like they're gonna buy it anyway so i can tell you now this thing is gonna sell like gangbusters at first but then once everybody plays it they're like oh this is not a real pokemon game they're gonna throw that toss that shit to the toss that shit aside Nintendo needs to have a, a Han Solo moment. They need to they no, they need to have a The Last Jedi moment. Like that's what's going on right now in the Star Wars world. The Last Jedi sucked so much that people finally had enough and then that's why Solo failed miserably at the box office because the fans have finally had enough and they voted with their wallet. Nintendo fans need to do the same thing. This is not a real next gen Pokemon game that anybody asked for. But Nintendo's giving it to throwing it out there anyway. And y'all need to vote with your wallets and not buy this garbage and tell Nintendo, come back again when you got a real next-gen Pokemon game. Until then, get the hell out of my face. But that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thumbs up the video. Click bell notifications if you subscribe to the channel so that you can know whenever I upload a new video. Show it off the king, and I'm out.